This is what I was grinding for. The game's over. You, you're gonna get the ending, win or lose. But I don't, I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> so don't feel too bad if you get fucked up by these guys. But man, I remember the voice actor. Uh, okay, it didn't hurt too bad, but I don't know. I still got a burning sword. Is that gonna do anything to him? Is that gonna burn him? Yeah, that's doing damage. Can't hurt the guy. Maybe going after him is the wrong way to go. I have anything I can, uh... Got this. I don't see a health bar on either one of you. So I don't know. Oh god, Al's almost dead. I'm doing pretty good damage. I got kind of enough. I was afraid, uh... Because if you're low enough, just one of these guys will just take one damage again. They don't have the low health that, uh, Gens had. These guys are fucking... They, they drop some really good shit if you can manage to take them both out. No, I don't need to use what you caught on you. I can bring you up and get you back full full health. I figured... That's the thing about that one fight that let me figure that out. I feel like you're gonna be the easier prey. I haven't... I actually do this. I'm sure as hell gonna try. You got a lot of, uh... Not a lot of nasty attacks, but a lot of, uh... Not much in the way of getting away from me. Mustang seems a different story. Ugh. You down, buddy? I might be in trouble. So let's... What, did not really stock on the meters? Oh, well. There's got plenty here. Ooh, alchemy does nothing to him. Alright, foregoing that. So I still got all this going. I only hit him maybe like less than 25 times, really? Damn it. I'm trying to get him because he's in a corner now. Aw, oh, damn it. He's out. Son of a bitch. There you go. There we go. Come on. He's still dodging most of my hits. Whoa, shit. That looked like it was gonna be painful. He still hurt me a fuck ton though. Hopefully that stays. I think it might just reset me again. Oh no. Hang on. I can still do that. I can get a plus one out there to throw hands with. Slightly more damage this way now. This is what all the grinding was for. Here's one to see if I can do it at 99. It may come to that. I don't know. Really wanted to test out here. So yeah, but yeah, you can just lose this fight and then the, you'll get the credits and everything, so. I beat the final boss. This is just whoa! What the shit? What happened? Someone using some water though? What's all this floating about now? Ah, it doesn't stay. Damn it! There's no sword option either. No use running around. Uh, apparently not now. You got shit everywhere. How am I gonna? Fucking tracking my ass practically. Oof. I think one of you has like crazy amount of health. Ooh. Okay, that's all him. How much damage that did too. Maybe that my level. 
I got like 200 defense on me practically, and I'm still getting uh, kind of worked over shit. That was almost death. You're in his face, I'll heal you that way. Just not to break that up. That sword does. Is this even doing more damage to him? It's cool they let me bring it into the fight. I guess once again they knew how hard, how much uh, difficulty this was gonna be. Faster this way. Yeah. Oh no. But you can do that big attack. Let's not have that happen again. Oof. Wait, can I hit him? Every time I go for a Mustang, that happens. Oh no. He's almost done. Uh, how about double elixirs? Go. Got plenty of healing. I mean, eventually I'm gonna be doing this, but I feel like I should come at 99 and say so much damage I do these guys. This bullshit. He's juggling my ass completely. Even Armstrong enough time to recover from his stuff. He's. I'm only going after him because he's the slower of the two. I, I don't think I've hit Mustang once since this fight started. We know what shape Sue's in. Sixty-nine. Well, another thirty levels really matter. So try. Come back. You good? Shit. I'm Fifty. Like a butterfly. Pose and punch your face in. Herm. We're both disarmed now. Come on. Shit. Wow, I really couldn't actually hit too much. Oh my god, he sparkled! He doesn't have any more surprises for me. This might be... I don't know, I want to say, like, impossible, but just because of the electric car. It's hitting him while trying to avoid uh, his stuff, but then Mustang's over there. Pyromaniac he is. I think I remember the... Uh, the guide. I think Armstrong is, like, the most HP. I think he's got like max HP of like, uh, not 999, because I would have burned through that by now with these 50s. Like, I'm talking four digits of nines. But I know they each drop something really good. I think one's like, uh, lowers your stats, but like, raises your XP or something like that. I forget. Or maybe it's like raise attack and like lower everything else. It, it's one of those. Wait, what's my, uh, what's that thing I picked up? Maybe that can help me. Or maybe I can get something that does more damage. I mean, that's the way to go. Let's go with that. Reduces damage. Less damage check bonking enemies. Oh wait, I got that watch card that heals me. Let's put that on. For the other thing. Yeah, we got that from the watch card. Decrease attack. No, no, no. Doubles match XP, increases other attributes. Oh, that's the double-edged ring. Oh! Increase attack by 15%? Increase all attributes by what you call it. Uh, sold. Sold. Alright. Alright. Now let's see how much damage I do. Here we go! Almost double now! I thought of this earlier. Uh-oh. He's doing a thing. 
and I'm taking less damage. So there you go. Oh no, the punch still hurts. Oh, that was close. Oh no, I'm fucking paralyzed. Oh, that's not good. Oh! Hit me so hard he broke the fucking wall too. That's what it looked like anyway. Oh, it's a counter! Okay. He's got Dudley bullshit. You try to punch him while he does the thing. <laughs> Cross counter! Yes! That's no good! It's no use! When I can take one of you down, it's gonna take me for fucking ever to do it, but I'm gonna... Mustang, I don't know. Jeez. Still not able to pick up a weapon. I'm using it here, being okay with this. Hey, now I'm curious. Oh god! Just took all of that. How about this? Oh, I got one! I got one! Who drops a thing? Let's go get it! Doom and Fist! What does that do? What does it do? What does it do? Might make my attack even more. Look at that, 390. Holy shit, was that what you call? Was that tank from Cowboy Bebop? What's that doing in here? Oh, uh. All attributes drop 50%, but barehanded attacks can instantly kill. I don't know if that's gonna work on that, and I don't wanna lower his stats for that. Just to see. He's a, he's a boss, I don't know. I know enough RPGs to think, like, this might not work and it might doom Al. Here's the thing, I still got him to go through, how the fuck? Constantly be swinging. I can't even hit him out of that! Fucker dodges practically everything I throw. I'm gonna alchemize to get at him. On the mines. No Distance weapons. How about this? I did something. Not as much as he's doing to us, though. There you go, Al. Come on, get him. Heal. Al's down. That's alright, though. Actually, no, it's not. He's over there. Okay, he jumped back. Hard to get to. The chance we have is one of us comes from behind and hits him. Seems to be the way to go. There it is again. Is that happening this whole time? And I just didn't notice. <laughs> I mean, there's an Ed in uh, both those animes. Coincidence? <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course there is. They're both on the Toonami lineup? Another coincidence? Isn't Ed not her real name or something like that? She just picked it or something? Could you imagine? I'll get Nat. You do more damage than this. Hopefully that's the answer. Ooh, it doesn't do that much damage. Ooh, 36. Ooh, he dodged it! Maybe he doesn't do as much. 
much damage as I do. Let's see how much I can hurt him. I'm doing a little bit more. He's dodging my kings. That's it. What were you saying? What's that? Yeah, he just the watcher called tanks right through. Oh, I'm out again. He's not advancing trying to get me. Do I have him locked? In a way. Oh no, now he's too close. No, no, now he's too close. Alright. Abandoning that, let's bring Al back. Again. <laughs> Slowly but surely, it's happening. I need to heal. Good thing I stocked up. Alright, where the fuck you is? There you are. Alright, you backed up. Oh no, where'd it go? Don't tell me you can blow up my fucking... Oh shit, that's not good. Did you destroy the thing? It's not there in the corner no more. Oh no, it's this corner. I think? No, that's something else. Oh, where the fuck it is? Oh no! Damn, that, that was actually kind of working. Oh shit, it still points him out on the map. Shit, and there's no other ones to transmute. What's this up here? What's the yellow? Hey, I can get in now. That should have been a thing. You try to get in, Reese. I just pew. You take sniper point while this shit goes on. <laughs> How long have I been fighting you, man? It was like at least twenty. See, now I gotta resort to this. That's too slow for your ass. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. I'm doing hundreds on him practically. That's the way. He does that. Back away. Oh. I should jump away. One on two, we got him. Yeah, Travis Willingham, I remember a uh, con said, I could not for the life of me d finish this fight. You even mentioned uh, uh, Mustang just being a fucking dodge whore. On those exact words. That's my word. That's my word for me. Like, holy shit. Better writing himself up than I am. Must have, like automatic shit or something. That could have been a neat little uh, equip to have. I wouldn't have used it, but as long as you have this equipped, like it might have been at the price of something, but every time you get knocked down, you'll automatically write yourself so you never lose your watch. I call it. That could be useful. It's no use. If I beat him here, I don't have to do it 99, although I am no Not that curious to do it all over again. Because that's still going to take a while. I still have to do like a whole... No that's, that was like two levels ago I did that like with the tanks. Then I got to fight the... the then I got to do the, the sewers. got to fight that chimera again. Although, to be fair, it didn't take a, that long. It's just the platforming and everything else. I can just forego it, so... Where'd he go? So he does that and then he gets away for safety. He knows everything. I can fuck him up with mines. Damn, I thought I was getting him from behind for a second there. Uh oh, not more of this shit. I'm 70, I'm getting worked. Oh! There's how much HP he's got left through the burn. Get 
Let's... Behind, he jumps away. Flint could stun him somehow. No use running around. Stand back. It's no use. 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 Stand back. Bunch of shit, so I can get at him. Maybe while he fucks with those. Oh, at least I got it. Oh, these, though, my options are quite limited. Shit, he's already burned through it. What a fucker, man. Is that the time I can get him when he taunts? Who knows when he's gonna do it? Shit. Again, if he wasn't super fucking invincible during that. Ah, oh, shit. It took me another 30 to 40 minutes, but I'm a fucking boot your ass. For Willingham! What was this group? The tiny miniskirt? The miniskirt army? Those were like the, I remember the Risen Bull Rangers. That was uh, Minyana's group. I think it was like the miniskirt army. Crazy ass leaping shit. Even Gens would be jealous of that shit. Look at him go. My fucking moon shoes on. I bet he has a fucking jetpack. Get in the goddamn mines. Ugh. I don't think that's gonna do any lasting damage either. I don't know. No use running around. He somehow did both attacks there. Oh no! Well, fuck that then. Shit. Who knows how long that would have taken? I'm not doing that again, no. <laughs> I'll boot one of them! I can go out on that. You've got to be kidding. That's impossible. weren't able to transmute a single thing. Is this... the end? Is this it? Harmony! Ed. Boo. How could I be so helpless? Ed. Why couldn't I do anything? Ed. Why am I so powerless? Ed, look! <laughs> What is that? A feather? Armies? <laughs> uh. So it is. Does it hurt? Uh, hi, Danny. 
You must hate me by now, but... That's silly. How could I hate you? You don't have to talk anymore. My dear, you may not have realized this, but I have always loved you. I cared for you more than anyone else ever could. But no matter what I tried, I, I just couldn't understand what would make you the happiest. What I could do to make my daughter happy. Daddy, you're so silly. <laughs> Harmony. I knew. I always knew. Because, I mean, I'm your daughter, and daughters always know. Daddy, I, uh... Yes, dear? I am... I am your daughter, aren't I? Silly girl, of course you are. Uh, okay. I guess we're both silly then. Like a father, daughter... Harmony! Be afraid. I won't let you go alone. This will be ours, only ours. see were they smiling edward pastor edward in the end were the two of them smiling yeah they were both the professor and army were smiling as they died then there's no reason to be sad the two of them must have been happy together as they passed on wilhelm might have made many mistakes in the past but in the end he made the best choice a choice that would be the most painful. That's hardly the case. She didn't have to die. There had to be another way. She deserved a choice, but I... I couldn't save her. I would like to ask of you a favor. Could you teach me the same alchemy you taught Armini? I don't intend to do anything on her behalf. I just want to learn something simple. Something I can show Armini someday. Perhaps I... Perhaps the both of us can make her dream come true. gonna chastise the full metal crybaby, but I guess I'll have to let it slide. Damn it, I was so close! I could feel it! And then he just comboed my ass up there. Because again, you have to get up fully to use the what you call that's what I should have been mashing start, not X. I might <laughs> I don't know how long that would have taken even if I did keep going. Who knows how hard I hit him? I think I think but again, I think Armstrong is like 9999. I think Mustang sits around 5k on his own, so. And he was the harder one to hit! It looked like it had something going with the cannon. It looked like it, it definitely had something there, but... I didn't know he could blow that up, too, so... Maybe there's a video somewhere of showcasing how best to take him on. What a tragedy. I can most certainly feel the pain in those boys' hearts. If I might interject, Colonel, we've received word that Brigadier Nemda has been arrested. Good. Excellent work. What are you doing? Let go of me! I'm innocent! I've done nothing wrong! You fools are making a mistake! Hey! Who do you think I am? I'll have you hung! Both of you! Someone arrest these two! Ah, let me go, you fools! Why isn't anyone listening to me? So when we get back to... Int so... We get to... Er the, 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 the interrogate... Words! We get to interrogate that chimp when we get back. How'd you know my favorite pet? East Headquarters is going to get awfully busy again, all thanks to Edward. He seems to attract trouble no matter where he goes. Well, they helped us solve the case of the Heisgard Chimeras and expose a corrupt MP chief. Sad ending for the boys, but all the credit goes to them. Not on record, though, as usual. Yeah, because remember, he's trying to uh, up his own stick. He wants to become Fuhrer someday. Close was I, honestly. I was hitting him for 90s and what you call it. 
know what it feels personal? I might actually actually go back and do that. Well, we're off, Colonel. Sorry for all the trouble we made. Oh, no, that was... Ed would never... <laughs> Ed would never say that. I'm sorry. You'll be in Central's jurisdiction here on, so go on and make all the trouble you want. That's not very nice, Colonel. Keep an eye on them till you reach Central, Armstrong. Almost forgot. Something I was supposed to give you. A love letter for you, Full Metal. Huh? Is this some kind of joke? That's some Armony. She told me to give you this just before she entered Alchemy Works. From Armony? Read it on the train. It's yours to keep. Take care, Full Metal. I saw that side sparkle over there. I'll read you the letter. Okay. Dear Ed, I'm writing this letter in preparation for our inevitable farewell. Well, I guess there's no reason to be so formal. But I know that when the time comes, I won't be able to tell you face to face. I mean, it might just degrade into another one of our shouting matches. And so I'll write. This way, I won't have any regrets. You know, Ed, you told me that no one can gain anything without making some kind of sacrifice. That the law of equivalent exchange in alchemy also applies to the order of the world. But I don't think that's necessarily true. Sometimes we can sacrifice all we want and never gain, while other things require no sacrifice at all. I can just picture you bellowing. You just don't get it. But, Ed, I haven't sacrificed anything. I haven't been able to do a single thing for anyone else. Not just for you and Al, but for the pastor, or even for Daddy. And yet, in exchange, I've received something so big, I can't even begin to imagine what the equivalent price would be. Equivalent exchange may apply to the order of the world, but not to people. The human existence lies on a higher plane, one that's not bound by those silly rules. I at least that's what I think. Hmm, <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to go off on a tangent like that. I really just wanted to thank you. So I'll write it right here. Thanks. And that's from the bottom of my heart. Whenever I think of you and Al, I'm so grateful. Not that I'd be able to tell you face to face, of course. But I couldn't possibly get away without letting you know. Even if there was nothing I could do or nothing I could give. So, yeah, I think this letter was a good idea. I hope you get what I'm saying. Maybe... No, I won't go there. It's getting noisy outside, so I'll stop here. Farewell, and take care. And thank you for everything. Best wishes to my small but mighty master. Best wishes to my small but mighty master. Small but mighty. Jeez, Harmony. Oh, I'm so touched. Oh, goodness, I can't stop sparkling. These are sand sparkles, you see. <laughs> they flow like waterfalls. Wish he called small. She was snotty till the end, that brat. And there's something else inside the envelope. Flower seed. Ah. Might just be a normal flower. You know how Harmony liked that kind of stuff. She could help their flowers bloom if it was just one time. Couldn't make a flower bloom with alchemy. So she left the seed as a gift. If it was meant as a gift, you could have done better than just a stupid seed! Let me help you make your wish come true. Yes, 
Of course. The boys are here, too. Alchemist indeed. But if if you die, then that's the end. Ridiculous. Let's go! And we'll never speak of her again. Yeah, show me everybody who we got. To see who Armony was at least. Sorry, I don't recognize. There's Chris Richards Gans, I thought so. <laughs> oh, Eric Bell is in there, Chicken Jacker. Troy Baker. And Christopher Sabanez Armstrong, the best one of <laughs> Truly the source of Merry Adventure. Oh no, it wasn't at all. <laughs> so what kind of sadness awaits us in the second game, I wonder, that I'm gonna do immediately after this. I, I think I don't know, how long is that going to take? You pretty much saw the gist of the fight. I don't know. If people want to see me take a crack at that 99, you know, feel free to leave a comment. I'll certainly do a... That's one of my, uh... I'm doing the boss kind of thing, like true bosses or whatever. The, that playlist is. I'll certainly, I'll certainly try again at level 99 and not holding back. That watch it called really boosted me up. I wish I thought of that earlier. That might have made that fight go a little quicker. Got a bit of a... I just got badly generated there and just dropped. More defense might have helped. Maybe not. Maybe there's just a point where you don't... I remember the second game being able to grind in that a little bit easier. And by that, I mean I remember being max level by the time I got to the final boss and just... I also remember that game does not have a secret final boss. The third one I looked up because I knew we didn't get that. I wanted to see what that was about. It was like some, uh, it was like some, I think it's like some priest or military again with that. But the the thing that struck me as as that would have been awesome was this. There is a secret boss in that. It's the fucking Fear King Bradley himself. I would have been like, oh my god, that would have been epic. He would have murdered my ass, but it would have been epic. <laughs> Holy shit, he would have darted all over the fucking place, cut me down. I know you can fight him in uh, Dual Sympathy for the DS. That, that, that was a lot of fun, too. Also based on the electric cut. I feel like I'd have to play that game twice, because then you you play, like, the main game, but then you get, like, character select, and one of the characters you can unlock is Armstrong, so you can, there's actually playable Armstrong in that. I'm like, oh my god, this is the best game ever. But yeah, I played a lot of uh, FMA. It, it's, it's a pretty good. I wish something came out for Brotherhood. Or something like that came out for Brotherhood, but no, it's all the 2003 stuff, because there was, like, the, uh... They do the other Alchemy Brothers, I, I think... It's not Tucker, I forget his name, but... Uh... 
They're, they're both blonde. I remember that. I can't remember their name, their, their last name though. But they're like some other brothers or something, and they got like a two-parter. I, I remember that because there's the the short-lived, unfortunately, trading card game. I forget what it's called. It's called Full Man. I think it's just Full Man Alchemist, the, the trading card game. That that, that was a bit of a learning curve for that one, but I liked what it represented. Like, so you don't have to, like, brute strength your way through things. You can, like, beat them this way because you have, like, three different stats, like attack, defense, and, uh... No, it was uh, attack, knowledge, and alchemy, I think is what it was. You know, some characters you could have, like... And there was, like, deck leaders in that or something like that. Like, this... Uh, and, like, a couple factions where it's, like, uh... No, Elric's... Military... Uh... Probably just regular alchemists, like normal people, and homunculus. Wish that stuck around and got knows who, like who knows. Especially Brotherhood, man. I never got a chance to read the manga. I was kind of, uh, I don't know if I'll, I'd, I'd collected some, but it's book after book after book, that can really wear on your uh, what's your call? So now I just buy new games. <laughs> There's still so much PlayStation 2 stuff I want to do as well. Like like I said, the second game, I'm just going to jump right into that. I still got to... But again, if you want me to... Take another crack at this at level 99, see how... Uh, maybe I actually can. I... Yeah, we'll be back with... This one is actually the second game. It's Who knows I'm going to flub this. Let's see. Full Metal Alchemist 2... Curse of the Crimson Elixir, also a T. Same as what you called here. Oh, it's got bonus episodes in it, too. Bonus DVD among it. Okay. That was a cool thing to have back then. Now you gotta install... When shit came with games automatically, you didn't have to pay extra for it. I have been conducting an inside probe into the recent string of incidents, which started with the devastation of the old town of Heesgart. I assumed the role of secretary to Professor Wilhelm Eselstein, who was considered a key participant in these events. The following is my report. A key factor in this incident was a material known as the Philosopher's Catalyst. Professor Eselstein, a leading authority on catalytics, had been conducting research on this fabled substance. If completed, this material would supposedly have had alchemy amplifying characteristics, similar to the mythical Philosopher's Stone. We found out that Professor Azelstein and his assistant Greta Riddell had been calling on hordes of alchemists to come to the town of Heesgart. We suspect that their plan was to use these alchemists in the completion of the Philosopher's Catalyst. We also discovered that the chimeras infesting Heesgart were originally created in New Heesgart Castle's underground laboratory. This also seemed to tie into Azelstein's plan. As director of the region, Brigadier Moody Nemda was well aware of the activities perpetrated by the professor and Riddell. Nemda opted not to enforce the law and neglected his reporting duties to Central. In fact, Nemda had struck a deal for the secret development of combat chimeras in exchange for acquiescence of the professor and Riddell's illegal activities. However, the central figure in the Chimera development was not the Professor himself, but Riddell. Riddell was the one who initially contacted the Professor regarding the creation of combat Chimeras. She was also responsible for arranging the relationship between the Professor and Nemda. We highly suspect that Riddell took the leading role in Heesgart's destruction and unleashed the Chimeras in the Old City. The mayhem, a direct result of Riddell's desire to obtain the Philosopher's Catalyst, came to an end when Professor Azelstein sacrificed his life to keep the Catalyst from going out of control, leading to the disappearance of the new Heesgard alchemy works. Therefore, we have every reason to believe that Greta Riddell was the real mastermind behind this incident, and that both Professor Azelstein and Brigadier Nemda were merely pawns. Disciplinary actions against the persons involved are as follows. Colonel Gens Breslau, currently undergoing rehabilitation in the military hospital. Although Breslau's involvement in the incident remains a question mark, there is no doubt of a link to both Riddell and Nemda. He will most likely be questioned before being sent to trial in front of the military court. Incidentally, 
The ex-military policeman who conducted the recent train hijack has regained consciousness and testified that Gens Breslau's job was to bring alchemists to Heesgart. We are currently investigating the authenticity of his testimony. Brigadier Moody Nemda, now serving time in military prison. Considering his position as a high-ranking military officer, Nemda's blatant misuse of military arms and troops is a serious crime. In addition, evidence indicates that he was plotting an insurgence against Central. Nemda has already been sentenced to 145 years in prison, but if further accusations are pursued, an additional 200 years may be added to his sentence. Greta Riddell, missing. Although regarded as the mastermind behind the incident, Riddell's identity and background remain a complete mystery. However, investigation regarding her alias of Camilla has turned up some interesting facts in Central's archives. This is not the first incident where certain activities were perpetrated by an individual named Camilla. In past reports, there are multiple instances of this individual, sometimes as a suspect, other times as a collaborator to the military. However, the oldest of these reports dates back to over 60 years ago. Although the records have many similarities, it would be unrealistic to regard these instances as pertaining to the same individual. Regretfully, Riddell has not been detained. Based on witness accounts, the possibility of her survival is extremely low, but to date, a body has yet to be found. Professor Wilhelm Azelstein, missing. Azelstein vanished along with the alchemy works. His survival is highly improbable. The fact that he was partaking in illegal activities amidst this chain of events is true. However, he also sacrificed himself to save countless lives from the out-of-control catalyst. It is unclear what he was after, or what he was trying to protect by obtaining the philosopher's catalyst. Whatever it was, we can say that Wilhelm was a man of contradictions. Reported by Lieutenant Hawkeye. Postscript. Due to the derailment of his train, a state alchemist was present in Heesgart during the incident. No evidence of his direct involvement has been found. Let's go. Get a move on, Al. Ed, slow down. There's no need to hurry. Indeed. The library isn't going anywhere. <laughs> ah, you're a bunch of slow folks. <laughs> He's acting like a child. Mm. Oh, I beg your pardon. He is a child. It's okay. Ed, look out! Ah! <laughs> uh... Ed, can you go anywhere without plowing into people? Are you okay? Um, yes, I... Oh. <sighs> so sorry. That's okay, I'm all right. Here you go, I'm really sorry. Um, are you going to be okay? <laughs> Me? Never been better! <laughs> Let's get going, Al! Something the matter, Ed? No, nothing. Central, here we come!
I know you can play through the game again. I don't know if it's like if you have to get all the treasures there, but they don't. But they replace them instead with items. I think you keep everything in the game you've already garnered. So leveling, of course, will be a lot easier that way. Um, but what they do is replace the treasures with like I think it's like still images from like all the cutscenes and everything. So you like collect like a gallery or something like that. That's what I remember, at least from the strategy guide. I don't know if there's any other unlocks. If there are, I'll let you know in the annotations I can put up here. I'll, of course, all the what you call it, uh, the items you can get from uh, winning the fight. I think you get like an, an additional thing if you win the, uh, the actually win the fight, depending on who you take out first. So I'll have all that information for you. But uh, yeah, we'll start a full metal. We'll jump right into Full Metal Alchemist Two. I don't flub that well, title up too much, even though it's a little, little bit longer, eh, give or take. So, take care. Thanks for watching.